Hello students, it's me, your instructor, Al Trujillo, and I just wanted to go over a few things about the course itself as we get started to begin this course of Oceanography 100 Online. So let me go ahead and advance this, and uh, we'll begin. All right, so first of all, what is oceanography? Well, it's a combination of all the different sciences as they look at various aspects of the ocean. So it covers all these different disciplines here, but I just wanted to point out it's not just marine biology. Marine biology is, of course, a part of this, but uh, oceanography is a much broader course. I also wanted to show you this short video. It's a Welcome to Oceanography 100. And let me get that set up, and uh, I'll click on play. Hello students, and welcome to Oceanography 100. I'm Al Trujillo, professor of oceanography here at Palomar College, and lead author of your textbook. I want to tell you a little bit about this course. Sometimes called Oceanography, Marine Science, or simply the Oceans, this course is intended to help you in your quest to know more about the ocean. As you learn about the ocean, I hope that it elicits a sense of wonder and a spirit of curiosity about our watery planet. The ocean represents many different things to different people. To some, it is a wilderness of beauty and tranquility, a refuge from hectic civilized lives. Others see it as a vast recreational area that inspires either rest or physical challenge. To others, it is a mysterious place that is full of unknown wonders. And to others, it is a place of employment unmatched by any on land. To be sure, its splendor has inspired artists, writers, and poets for centuries. Above all, take time to admire the oceans. The scientific study of oceanography is typically divided into four main academic disciplines or subfields of study with much overlap. They are, first, geological oceanography, which is a study of the structure of the seafloor and how the seafloor has changed through time, the creation of seafloor features, and the history of sediments deposited on it. Second, chemical oceanography, which is a study of the chemical composition and properties of seawater, how to extract certain chemicals from seawater and the effects of pollutants. Third, physical oceanography, which is a study of waves, tides, and currents, the ocean-atmosphere relationship that influences weather and climate, and the transmission of light and sound in the oceans. Fourth, biological oceanography, which is a study of the various oceanic life forms and their relationships to one another, adaptations to the marine environment, and developing sustainable methods of harvesting seafood. Other disciplines include ocean engineering, marine archaeology, ocean policy, and marine education. Because the study of oceanography often examines in detail all the different disciplines of oceanography, it is frequently described as being an interdisciplinary science, or one covering all the disciplines of science as they apply to the oceans. This course includes a broad range of interdisciplinary science topics that comprises the field of oceanography. In essence, this is a course about all aspects of the oceans. Lastly, the content of this course was carefully developed to provide a foundation in science by examining the vast body of oceanic knowledge in an educational and sometimes entertaining way. My desire is that you will take away from this course much more than just a collection of facts. Instead, I'd like you to develop a fundamental understanding of how the oceans work, really why the oceans behave the way they do. In the end, I hope that understanding the way the oceans work will foster an appreciation of the marine environment and a desire to help preserve it. I hope you enjoy this course. Okay, so that's just a short little video introduction about this course and what to expect as we go through this. So here's an overview. It is a survey course, and as I mentioned there, um, all the different subdisciplines of study, geologic, chemical, physical, and biologic oceanography. And uh, where I think the strength of this course is, is the interdisciplinary approach and uh, how different things are connected within uh, various aspects.
So here's a list of some of the class topics that we'll discuss as we go through the semester here. Lots of different types of things, interesting topics that we'll discuss here. Uh, things like uh, what this picture is, and if you don't know, that is a diatom. And I do have a passion for diatoms, so I thought I'd include a picture of them. They're marine microscopic organisms. More about that in Chapter 4. But lots and lots of different topics here, and we'll discuss all of these as we go through the course here. Here's my contact information, where my office is, office hours, phone, email address, website, and of course the course Blackboard site, which has a variety of different information in there. Here's the required textbook. As I mentioned, I'm the author of your textbook here, and uh, it's the 10th edition of Centrals of Oceanography, and new copies do include access to the online study guide. Uh, just also wanted to point out that uh, for the dedication of the textbook, I dedicated it to my yellow lab, my dog, Hawthorne, my loyal and faithful companion. <laughs> so you'll see that in there as well. Here's uh, information about exams and assignments. There'll be uh, five exams. They're completely online. And uh, there's various other assignments, including discussion board posts and a writing assignment. And uh, then the comprehensive final exam. So each of the five online exams cover three chapters. And just some information about extra credit and when things will be posted and when things will be due. Here's the grading scale typical grading scale then um, and uh, I may lower this but we'll never raise it. Field trips. There are really no field trips offered as part of the lecture. However, I would strongly encourage you to enroll in Oceanography 100 lab. Uh, studies that we have done indicate that those uh, students who take the lab and the lecture together because they're linked, they're, the topics are linked in the two courses, uh, students tend to do much better in the lecture part of that. So, welcome aboard. Please, let me know if you have other questions. Let me give you some assignments, too. There's much more information at the course Blackboard site. You need to purchase the textbook. Lots of options there, and uh, that information is at my website about the current options that I know about, but it's changing all the time, including an e-text. Uh, please read the preface and the introduction there. Also gain access to the online study guide, as I mentioned. It comes free with a new text or can be purchased online for $30. And that's at mygeoscienceplace.com. And uh, begin reading Chapter 1, but lightly. There's uh, various aspects of Chapter 1, including the history of oceanography, that I don't think are very important in terms of the overall scheme of things. So just kind of lightly. And uh, that's all. So uh, welcome to the course. I hope you enjoy it.